Yeah. That was fun. Got it. It's coffee time, guys. Time for a video, too. So, we talked a few weeks ago, in vaguely maybe, about the Walther PPS M2 with the RMSC Shield sight. Now, uh, I've got a video a few weeks ago about the M2 itself. So, we're going to let you go watch that and if you want to learn more about this. This is mostly about the red dot sight on it, which can be very fast when you fire and especially precise and so i'm digging it a lot but first before we get to that it's sponsor time what yeah we got a sponsor and what it is it's this vikings this vikings game that's up now it's a vikings war clans and it was inspired by one of the top pc strategy and rpg games in the 90s like command and conquer that was one of my favorite i love playing that one and if you want to relive these memories you can get new experience with some of these awesome graphics and vikings will not disappoint it gives you the option to choose your own playstyle, and what makes it so addictive is that more than 20 million online players are constantly changing the way the game evolves. So you'll have a never-ending fight for over resources and forging new alliances and competing in live events. You can support my channel by downloading Vikings for free from the links in the description there, and if you do that you also get a special bonus of like 200 gold coins and a protective shield. Now, it's virtual gold coins, okay? Because, like, real gold coins would be, like, $300,000 or something, and that would be awesome. I'd download it, like, 20 times. But, yeah, play gold coins. But it's still cool in the game. So, y'all check that out. Now, let's gonna shut up and shoot. When I bring you a gun as a review, I'm not just pulling out of the box. I've had this for several months now, and I carry it, I shoot it, and just try... You, you can tell the finish is already wearing off of the gun itself. Now, what I'll sh show you, is, is see if it picks up on camera, is for the past two or three days, I specifically carried it, but did not take any attention to the lens. Because what happens with the shield sight is you will get dust in it. With any sight, really, my RMR does the same thing. Take that on an ATV trip, and that thing's filthy. Because when it's sitting in your belt line, it's like uh, just a shelf that catches all the dust. Now, let's see if I can hug the camera. Hey, I tripped. Okay. Hey, Nostler's out there. All right, so we're going to see if we can focus on the site itself. And now the targets will be out of focus because that's how red dots work. But if you can see there, you can see, it, it, yeah, the dot's going to be blurry because it's focused on uh, maybe the lens. All right, so it, you can see that there is dust and such in that lens. So I specifically did not shoot it before this time today because I wanted you to see that. And when that dust gathers, it can be annoying, but... I mean, when your sights or when you are looking and focusing at the target itself, you're going to be overlaying that with your left eye. And so you'll see the target with one, you'll see the dot with another. It, it kind of works out. And after you fire, it'll blow that mess out again as well. Now, the, the shield sight does automatically adjust to the ambient light. So that means that, I'm um, putting my ears in so we can go soon. So the, when you have that automatic adjustment there's it's always on okay but it's rated for a battery life of like two to three years so you don't have to worry about a battery life which means you will have to take it off the mount to get to the battery underneath but at the same time i've noticed you bring up a flashlight i got my LZ right here and you bring that up at night it'll gather the ambient light for the darkness and if you're too close and your target's too bright it'll kind of wash out and it's a little difficult to see now however you can also you can see your irons it's going to kind of co-witness through that because uh, you have the notch here in the shield in the shield sight however <laughs> when you have that it's it's the the notch itself is smaller than the wide frame of your uh, rear sight and when I tried to adjust my rear sight to get on target, what happened is, is well, this small sight didn't adjust. So while my, 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 uh, my right sight, my rear sight is drifted to the right just to touch, when you look through, if you're not just like paying attention to the dots, it'll seem that it's not centered. So it's not perfect, but we're talking, if your red dot fails, which it hasn't in several hundred rounds for me, it will... It will, uh, it'll be difficult to use those iron sights with precision. Now, another thing about the, 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 the polymer lens is that it scratches easily. So with my RMRs, you know, they're coated and I believe it's glass on top of that. I'm used to just blowing it and wiping it and then going. 
this will scratch. It scratches rather easily because it's polymer. And Shield Sites has this video that uh, to properly uh, clean their sites, you use the MEK solution, a special one that they suggest, and only Johnson & Johnson Q-tips. And you dip them and you roll them and gather all that dust off. I mean, this is supposed to be a defensive handgun, not a safe queen. So I thought that sucked. And I contacted uh, Shield Sites a little and they have a, a Site for Life program so that if you scratch it up, for 50 bucks, they'll replace it, and they'll replace it as much as they need to replace it. But that's a lot of sending it back and forth. But at least you still have a gun because you can take off the sight and send it in. Meh. For now, I'm just going to shoot it and see how long it lasts until it annoys me if it gets too dirty. And the adjustments, pretty cool. You got a little hex wrench that fits right into this mini dial. And you have your elevation and your windage right there. And it's marked to show you your increments. So, to start off this video... um. We have to start off every video now by finishing off that tree over there. So that tree's the one in the tree video that everybody's so sad because I killed it. Well, it's still alive, okay? So there we go. Tree's doing good. We're going to go for this plate rack. Uh, we're going to reposition the camera real quick, though. All right, if you've never used the steel target paint, good stuff. And so what we have in, I didn't talk about my holster yet, was <laughs> I took a regular Bravo concealment holster not made for the M2 site, and then I milled it out myself for the m2 site so you can just kind of if it has enough clearance you can go ahead and uh, just just modify any of them now uh the angel fire 147 grain is the choice of ammo for the day and on this primo target plate rack what i uh found you could do is just make it a hands-free reset device so right there so now i can reset I don't have to do I don't have to do nothing but kick, so that's kind of cool, right? All right, let's go for that plate rack, and uh, yeah, let's shut up and shoot. Wait, reset. Get the hostage. Wait. Oh, hostage again. <laughs> All right, now, so red dots can be plenty fast. I mean, that was like 12 bad guys and then the hostage. Uh, it, but what I love the most is how accurate we can be at a distance. We're gonna back it up. Back at 50 yards and we're, that is the plate rack right there. So things get small in a hurry. Um, so this is when it's nice that the shield came with the four MOA rather than the eight MOA because uh, well, at this distance, I'd be getting a big dot. What I am shooting, you gotta check this out. This is the Black Hills ammo, Honey Badger ammo. It's a 124 grain uh, subsonic, but it's a pure copper bullet. It packs some punch. I've shot it through ballistic gel, and it's it, it it's pretty cool. Now. I don't know, you know, if it's going to take the place of a traditional hollow point, but what I do know, stupid accurate, and I like stupid accurate. Plate rack at 50 yards. Let's see what we got. too fast. Yeah, that second shot was just me having poor follow through. Oh, we had another one still. <laughs> okay. We're going to go for the six inch hostage head on the big defense target. Now that's, that's pushing it, but we got a red dot, right? I'm just gonna stop all on my head, but that's awesome. And so that is why I love a, a, a carry gun with a red dot because you can take out a Harris, terrorist at 50 yards with a headshot. That's cool. Okay, so why do you would you want to purchase the pistol and the sight together? Uh, it's gonna run a little under 700. I think it's like 675 is what I saw it at. But the gun itself is gonna be 400. The shield sight retails for 400 so that's gonna be 800 bucks and if you're gonna pay someone 100 bucks to mill it and then wonder if they even did it right that's why you want to get it from Walther so that's what I went with and I will keep you posted if the site just fails or if something goes wrong but otherwise a couple hundred rounds so far probably nearing a thousand and we're doing pretty good now thanks for watching guys but I gotta show y'all something that's coming up next that you're not gonna want to miss and what that is is why is there a trampoline on my shooting range I don't know, is that like 50 yards away with the range? That looks fun. So on the next episode of Top Shot, you're gonna wanna tune in and check it out. Remember, ring that little notification bell and all that stuff so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you later.